Was mom right? Should you really put on that coat or are you going to catch a cold? Maybe not. According to a new poll, a lot of parents are still depending on folklore to keep their kids from getting sick. Researchers in Michigan found seven out of 10 parents use strategies with little or no scientific evidence. And 51% say they rely on multivitamins, maybe supplements too, which have not been shown to prevent colds in kids. Let's do it now. Let's separate fact from fiction. Joining me now is family physician, Dr. Jennifer Caudill. Jennifer, good to see you, doctor. It's good to see you, too. To clear this okay. up. Okay. I'm going to guess true or false. Yes. Then the doctor, she's going to give us the real answer. Yes. Let's start with... <laughs> Can cold air make you sick? I remember being younger, my mom saying, put on that coat, you're gonna catch a cold. Let me guess here. Okay. Okay, so uh, so does cold air make you sick? That's yes. the question, because my parents said that to me too. Yes. So let me tell you, I want you to wear a coat. I want us to wear coats out right. in the cold. Doesn't mean you can go out in a tank top. But the answer is false. You are right about that. I knew you were a little skeptical. <laughs> it's viruses and bacteria that makes us sit, not cold weather. And we think in the winter, we're spending time indoors or around each other. Viruses can spread more easily. And we also know that cold and flu viruses tend to predominate in the cold weather. But it's not the air. It's the viruses and bacteria. It's the viruses and yes, bacteria. That's still listen to mom. Yes. Next, it's still wear that coat. <laughs> should you exercise in cold weather, meaning outside? Right, right. This so... Should, okay, so you say you should not. Should not. Okay, so I actually say you can. I think it's actually okay to exercise in cold weather, but I would say you need to be properly insulated. You got to make sure you're wearing your layers. You also need to be acclimated to the cold, okay? So this is like when it's Arctic cold temperatures, may not, probably shouldn't be the first time you go out and do that. The other thing is if you have conditions like asthma and things like that, be very careful if they're exacerbated by the cold. But it's really how your body is and who you are. You That's know who could attest to that? Who? Is Coy Wire, who played for Buffalo. I'm sure he played I'm, in a lot yes, of freezing yes. temps. He can talk to us about that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> what about allergies? Do they go away in the winter? In the winter. Time? Okay, what Allergy do you think? Season, I think yes. You think they go away? Yes. Okay, so no more allergies. So do you think, because let me ask you a different take on that yes. question. Do you think it's possible, though, to have allergies in the wintertime? I think it is possible. Okay, well, so you are right. <laughs> yes, okay. there we go. Ding, 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 I love it. So it is possible to have allergies in the winter. We think that allergies are just for the spring. And if you got tree and grass and pollen allergies, mm -hmm. you might be safe in the winter, but there's other indoor allergies. There's uh, dust mites, True. there's uh, animal dander, things like that. So many people actually still have allergies and have them all year round, And I want to get to this one. Sunscreen yes. in the winter, I know okay. this for a fact. Yes. yes, thank you so much for saying that you are so right about that we want sunscreen anytime we're basically out in the sun and for the snowbirds out there that love getting on those slopes and skiing remember that the snow actually reflects a lot of sunlight so it's very possible to get sunburned when it's cold and, and really snowy quick, vitamin c does it prevent cold okay what do you think yes yes okay so i'm gonna say this answer is it's both true and both false. It's both of them. So vitamin C, we hear that a lot. There's not many studies that suggest that it prevents colds. We don't have a lot of evidence about that, but there are some small studies that suggest that it may actually lower the duration of a cold, Which possibly. Which is a good thing. Right. So that's why I say the true or the false. My thing is, vitamin C is important to have anyway. Yeah. Get your fruits and vegetables. Get that vitamin C no matter what. We'll talk about chicken <laughs> soup during the break, yes. by the way. Dr. Jennifer Caudill, thanks so much. And we're going to come up and talk about, in the 9 a.m. hour, yes. Alzheimer's, an amazing new medical development, it could tell you possibly with a blood test years before you're about to get it if you are susceptible to it. Dr. Thanks, see you Thank at 9. Thank you. We'll see you then.